Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator. And in this video, you're going to see how Isaiah starts using controls with AutoHotKey. Controls, if you're using an older Windows program, controls are a great, simple way to automate those programs. You can hide things, you can display things, you can pull data from it, you can set data in them, and they're really versatile. It was my big aha moment of learning AutoHotKey does so much more than what I thought it did. So please like the video if you learned something here. It's from our Intermediate Auto Hockey course. I'll put the link up here if you're interested. All of our courses come with a 200% money back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. And they're really great. The videos themselves aren't really long. We break them up usually between three to five minutes each, but they give you a nice clear path on how to learn auto hockey. We have quite a few videos on controls in the Intermediate Auto Hockey course. So if you're interested in learning this topic, check out the course. Cheers. Enjoy the video. So now I'm going to show you what we can do. The first command that we're going to be using here is the control click. This is a function that we can use to send clicks to a specific control. And the cool thing about it and the difference between the control click and another function that we have called click by itself is that when you send a click uh, with the normal command click, you just specify the position on the screen and let's say that you had a program that you wanted to click on, but another program got on top of that one. When you send a click, the click is going to be sent to the wrong program. That's one of the biggest issues with it because then every time you try to click, you have to make sure that the program that you want to click on is active and the button that you want to click on is in the correct position. It's really annoying. With control click, you do not have those issues. With control click, you specify what the title of the window is, what control you want to click, and then you send the click to it, independent of whether that window is the active one or not, and other, uh, or whether the button moved or whatever. It doesn't matter where the button is. You just send the click to it. And that's what we're going to be showing you right now. So let, let me go ahead and, um, go back here to our code. We're going to create a new script in which we're going to be testing this out. And you will see what I mean by this. So first of all, as I mentioned in the previous video, the main idea here is that it this functions, this control click function, for example, only works with, with certain types of controls. So this is not for every single automation task out there. But if you can do it, it's amazing. So let's go ahead and find at least one program. For example, my, my um, toolkit is using the, um, the Windows uh, buttons, okay? So the Windows API button. So we can automate those. And how do I know? Uh, the reason how I know that is because when I hover over them, the class and then of the button of the button itself, I can see it very clearly. In certain situations, you will see, for example, if I open up, um, let me open up this one here, um, the control pilot from NVIDIA. On the left side, you will see that it has what is called a tree view, which, which looks very similar to the tree view in uh, the Windows API. And for example, these buttons here, they look like the buttons that I'm referring to. So if I hover over them, you will see that I also get these buttons and I can see here that it's a static three. So I, I can interact with those. As soon as you hover over something that is not interactable or at least easily, you will notice that the class and N here is not changing. So this is the control bar. One is a very weird control name. As I hover over, it doesn't change when I hover over different buttons. And that's basically what what will give away the fact that it is not easy to click on those guys because you don't know exactly which one it is. In this case, let's go ahead and go with the example. Let's get um, to clicking one of these guys in this window and we will see about clicking on my toolkit. And there are other programs that we can use this for, but let's get this as an example. So um, let's hover over this one here. I want to, whenever I press a button, I will cha go to change the resolution on this app. So. Here, I just noticed that this is the static five control, and that's what we're going to be using here. So we're going to say, um, let's have a hotkey, let's say F1. Whenever I press F1, I'm going to control, control, click. Sorry. I'm going to control click, 
And what I want to control click in this info, in this case is the button that is named static five. Now I want to click on that button on a specific window. So that's where the win title now comes in very handy because now when I hover over this one, the window title is NVIDIA control panel. So let's just go ahead and use that one as my title. And here's the thing. So let's run this out. Um, let's click around, let's click on here. And now if I press F1 on my keyboard, it goes ahead and clicks on that button. It doesn't matter now if that window is active or not. So if I click on another way, on another link, and I go here and have this one as an active window, and I press F1, it still clicks on it. And let's do this. Let's let's put this window on top of the other one. So right now we are in a, the adjust image. We put this window on top of the other one, and then I go ahead and set click. I um I send the F1, and notice that now we are in the change resolution. That's the cool thing. That's the great thing about sending a control click instead of just um, sending a click to a specific position is that it doesn't matter if it is the active window or not. Now, let's do another example. Let's go ahead and um, have this here. Let's. This is the close button here. Right now, if I hover over, let's just bring the uh, wind view here. This is going to be my button 10, right? So we're going to grab it and that's going to be my next hotkey. This is going to be F2 right here. This is going to be my button 10. And the name of the window, we have our hotkey toolkit here. Let's just grab that and use that as the title. So let's reload the script, hide this up. And now, even if that window is not active, I can go ahead and click that button if I wanted to. So here it is. I hit F2 and the window disappears because that's what clicking that button does in this instance. So again, clicking on specific given um, controls is great, especially when you have the need of clicking something even if the window is not active. So that's what control click does. That's how you normally use it. There are some options that you can set for it, but this gives you the idea of how you can use it and basically remember you have to use something like the Windows Spy tool to know what the control is and what the window title is.